Well, it's definitely lifelong learning. You can't um, stop. We have an education department that works very hard at keeping us up to date. A great deal of reading. Read. If you have time to be on Facebook, you have time to read and do your patients a favor by keeping current. You need to read a lot of journals. Read more. That will make you learn more. That will make you earn more. I have found it very helpful to use the electronic apps. I subscribe to probably five different journals, not only in my specialty area, but nursing in general. One of the most important textbooks that we are going to use are created and published by Libincott. Go to your reputable uh, sources. Do your own uh, research in a constructive manner. Our organization just installed the Lipnicod procedure manual, so it's our go-to source for um, current practice. Well, they need to attend conferences. Well, one of my strategies is coming to Magnet Conference because there's so much uh, good material that's uh, disseminated here. Well, um, I think attending lots of conferences like these um, where everybody is sharing their information that they've gathered. Get out there. Go to conferences, go to dinners, go to all the CEU events that are offered, and belong to organizations. That's the best way to stay current. Talk to your nursing colleagues and leaders. They always have great ideas. Well, we have monthly meetings, so we share, we share, and we share with each other. So don't be afraid to ask the most stupid question is the one that you haven't asked. I think that it's always important to um, try to find a resource person, somebody who's going to be able to give you a little bit of guidance when you're encountering an issue you've never dealt with before. Make sure that you're involved in the teamwork of um, being with your peers, your colleagues. We meet monthly as a shared leadership, as a shared governance committee to make sure that we're staying on track, that we're staying up to date on the newest, greatest and best evidence-based practice. I try to stay involved at my organization, try to do as many CEs as I can. Form a group together and have each person work on one area and then bring that information together. Definitely work with your educators and see, utilize resources on the floor. I would say stay certified in your specialty because certification makes you the cream of the crop. You just have to get involved. A nursing professional organization is really helpful. Whenever you have uh, downtime, even they're at work at home, just sitting at the, sitting watching TV, Google something and uh, look it up. Any type of communication you can do. The more communication you have, the more information you can share. It's just ask questions for things that they want answers. We do a lot of evidence-based practice. Um, we utilize our PMPP program um, to do projects and to make sure at the bedside that um, they're using EBP. To stay informed, to keep talking, to attend meetings, to ask questions. The Magnet website has a lot of things. I think that the Jonah Magazine is a, a very good resource. And most importantly, just reach out to their CNO and find out ways to get involved.